Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. So today we are going to be talking about Love by Erica, Creole Bay, uh, and Damien Cryer, the Cryer family. So I saw a video last night. I was so sleepy, but I had a feeling that this was going to happen, and it's exactly what happened. Um, Erica went live last night on YouTube. She hadn't been over here in quite, quite some time. I was curious about that, but I mean, I watch so many channels that if I don't see one, I just move to the next one. But last night she did go live and she basically said it was something that she needed to get off her chest. She was tired. She was tired of people bothering her, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, I actually also missed her uh, posting her little girl. She calls her Fortune, but uh, apparently her real name is Iceland. Uh, I don't know if that goes together or whatever. But she uh, posted about Miss Fortune, and she also posted about uh, Damien, the other child she has with Damien. Now, what I didn't know is that that baby had autism. So she spoke about the fact that he has autism. She says she has talked about it before, and she has, you know, it is what it is. Well, apparently since uh creole bay and mucker broke up and she recently got started with divorce papers from him um she really been acting ugly not to mention the fact that he apologized to erica excuse me he apologized to erica and he is now very active in his son's life so uh, apparently creole bay does not like this Creole Bay has been harassing Erica. She has been making uh, inferences and videos uh, throwing shade at Erica and Cryer's baby. Now, I don't know if Erica tried to get... Well, excuse me, let me make sure I say the names right. I don't know if Creole Bay tried to get back with Cryer or what the deal was, but uh, I find the interesting. Sorry about that, guys. I got interrupted. My phone ran out of battery. It's rough on these streets over here. It's time for me to get a new phone, but that's a different story for a different day. So back to Cryer and Erica. So, um, you know, Erica said that Cryer has not given them money. Cryer not only has not given them money, has not uh, made any attempts to see the kids, that when he had Coco Melon on the TV like the kids was there, they were not there. Like, he was basically faking. Um, she also said, like I, I mentioned before, that he doesn't even really acknowledge the little girl, per se. And then, on top of all of that, everything that he bought, including the bedroom set, them kids have not been to his house in months. And not only is he not sending her money, and she said she can't prove that, not only that, how about the man got the girl demonetized? So he's not giving her money for the kids and the way that she was earning her money, he took that from her as well. Now, what she said was that he kept striking her channel. And you know, three strikes that sit on your channel, they take your whole channel. They take the monetization anyway. So that's the situation that she sits in. And I really hate that for her. I don't know this lady from Adam, but the thing is, everybody, you know, should be able to take care of their kids. And why is this guy so ugly to her? Because she won't be with him? I mean, he really feels like that anytime that she's supposed to get with him. I mean, anytime that that she, that he wants her, she's supposed to do it. I think that's crazy. I really do. And, you know, it's just like both of them are coming after her. She said that the other father, you know, it has nothing to do with him. What he's doing on his channel has nothing to do with her. It's nothing going on there. You know, he just know he was wrong. He was trying to, uh, I guess, keep Latoya happy by not being in his child's life. But he just couldn't, maybe he couldn't do it anymore. Especially after he saw her crack the hell up 
after losing her child. I know, you know, you never wish bad on a person, but I'm sure the path that he is walking after the things that he saw, uh, it's a bittersweet situation because nobody wants to lose, uh, you know, their little one. But when you see that something was done that basically was kind of for your good, I mean, that's just kind of how you feel about it. I just think it's sad. I don't really watch Cryer. Um, he seems to be an older guy that's just trying to live his youth because he missed it. And, you know, he's not getting in trouble or doing anything wrong. So, hey, it is what it is. But why be angry and hateful and bitter to the woman who is basically taking care of your kids, especially knowing that your child is in a position or condition that you can't handle. She does what she has to do. You know, she um, she's on TikTok, she says now, instead of being on here. Now, I don't know if she's making money on TikTok or not, but it's just a simple fact that he took her uh, monetization over here that I think is absolutely horrible. So, uh, I mean, it, it, I just don't even know what to say about that. But I do want to know what you guys think about it. What do you guys think? Do you watch Damien Cryer? Do you watch Love by Erica? And what do you think about the two? Now, Erica is not an innocent person. She, you know, has done a lot of things that some people may or may not like. But honestly, looking at her upbringing, it just seems like she's a young lady who want to be loved. And she's just trying to make her way in the world. She's trying to deal with life as it comes to her. And she's trying to stay away from things that bring her, uh, you know, disdain or malice, which would be Creole Bay. And I don't know, that Creole Bay girl does act very weird. She seems to be very off. And, you know, it is definitely unfortunate. But tell me what you guys think about this entire situation. Now, she said that she really started, uh, you know, harassing her and giving her a hard time after she got them divorce papers from from Mucker. Child, all I can say is, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's all I can say. Tell me what you guys think about... Um, <laughs> Mucker said, heck no, I, I'm not the one. What do y'all think about Cryer and Creole Bay harassing Erica? Now, I didn't know the little boy had autism, but what do y'all think about him basically abandoning her and him and taking her only way of earning money? Because she's not currently working. Now, I don't know if she's trying to work or what her situation is, but I know that as of now, she is not currently working and that she was getting money from him from time to time before um and that um she was also making money off of youtube and he took both of those and then got physical with her tell me what y'all think about all of that we'll discuss it in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next one bye